everyone y'all i'm back with another reading all right so this is going to be from uh june the 9th and the 10th so it is a collective general read so we're going to see what messages is coming towards you what energy is coming towards you what's in the air honey all right let's see what we got going on this is a collective read guys be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new as well, guys. I am doing pendulum readings today, $7.77. If you would like to get a yes or no question answered, it's $7.77 per question. Um, I'm available for readings today as well. And also, guys, this is my top seller. Okay, this product here is my very top seller. The energy clearing spray, guys, get you some. Okay, get you some of this. This spray is amazing, guys. It's going to clear out, clear everything out. You hear me? It has sage, Palo Santo, Florida water. Uh, it has my own special blend. All right, check it out on the website, guys. Everything is going to be in the description box below. Okay, so let's see what messages do we have? What's going on? Over the next few days here. This is going to be for June the 9th and the 10th. All right. What's coming towards the collective? What does the collective need to know? Uh -huh, some messy stuff going on. Okay. We got sus. Someone is being shady. Something is being hidden. Suspicious. Suspect or untrustworthy. Okay. So this is the energy. We're going to put that to the side. Now, let me grab some more cards. All right, there's a lot of chitter chatter going on. Some chitter chatter going on. Yes, yeah, some sipping of the tea. <laughs> some tea being sipped. Some hating going on too. But let's see. Okay. The first card we got, guys, is finesse. Getting something in a slick way, smoothing things out, still buttering up, persuading, and charm. So somebody over here is being using their charm to get what they want. Okay, out of a situation. So maybe this is what's being suspicious. Like somebody is suspicious that someone is being finessed or someone is suspicious that maybe they're being finessed. I'm sorry, guys. I have to cut this fan, turn this fan towards me. Okay. So somebody feels as if they're being finessed. Um, really, I feel like what the truth is, is that a situation is no longer what it was before. Somebody lost interest. But somebody could still be hanging on because... This person is easily finessed. So there's some text messaging going on. The texter, okay. So somebody's, there's some messages going on here. Think carefully before responding, casual interaction, expect a message, detachment and communication. Okay, so this person, somebody could be um, there's some messages that are coming through. Maybe this person normally calls or shows up, but lately they've been texting, um, short messaging, you know, kind of like detached. And it's because they're losing interest. But I'm getting in some way, shape, or form, they still feel like they could get something out of you. Or you, them, vice versa. Tell me more about finesse. 
Bay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bay. Before anyone else, someone special, pet name, lover, couple, love life. Yeah, somebody's getting finessed by their lover. By someone who they think is their lover. Because this person ain't keeping it 100. See, we got to keep it 100. Show your true self. Be honest with yourself. Be honest. Avoid hidden motives. I don't feel like that's what this person is doing. I feel like somebody got a bay that they can get whatever they want to from this person, right? They may come off like when they come around you and or you them. Like they I feel like they're pretending that they're interested. We got mood right here. So they're pretending like the topic is relatable, like they can relate to you, they understand you. But I'm not too sure. I feel like what they're looking at is that your whole squad or vice versa, the whole squad is bougie. Like the whole squad, everybody that you hang around or everybody that they hang around, however the story goes, everybody got, you know, popping tags. Everybody is upper class, finer things in life. Then we got squad, click of friends, close friends, a group friends. Like everybody is on this while they are going through this. Spirit say, yeah. On point. The struggle is real for them. So they hopped on this train. They jumped on this train. Now we got flatlining. Extra. I feel like... Somebody lost interest here because somebody is just too extra. Possibly on the internet. Somebody be doing the most on the internet on the internet. Because we got digital detox. Somebody be doing too much on the internet. Maybe doing things for likes or attention. Just being extra on the internet. Doing too much. All right, somebody's coming through with the message. A message is coming through how somebody's making some type of comeback. They're saying that they're not going to be somebody's doormat anymore. They're fighting back. They're returning uh, a diss. Somebody's dissing somebody. They they clapping back. And this is going to have somebody shook. Somebody about to get a surprise. Somebody who's the person that's doing the finesse. The finessing is about to be surprised because they about to get a message saying like, look, I'm not your doormat. I'm not going to do, no, you're not going to treat me like that. You're going to show me some respect or you can go, you can exit left. <laughs> All right. So the tea is spilled. We got sipping tea. <laughs> All right. So careful who you listen to. Listen to constructive criticism, listening to gossip. Yeah, see, the T is that everybody is going to kind of realize that this relationship is struggling. This relationship is struggling. This, you and this person may stay home a lot, or this person tries to keep you at home, and it's because they don't have they don't have the funds to take you out anywhere to do anything and this relationship is struggling and leaving the other person lonely sad or depressed all the time because maybe they're being stuck in the house not not going anywhere not doing too much like you know pretty basic i feel like somebody want to get on fleet find something to do get into we got follower
ratchet Ooh, okay and then we got to stand here okay so somebody's spying and looking at everybody else having fun on fleet wearing a little ratchet little clothes wearing a little summertime fine gear and all of this going on everybody else is you know on that You could be seeing that. Like, everybody else out having fun. Everybody else doing this. You want... This person wants to just stay in the house. They want to stay in the house. They don't want to do nothing. All right. So, it looks like we got basic. Like I said, somebody over here... Is either dealing with somebody that's basic or this person is trying to keep you basic. Because somebody got a goal that they're trying to accomplish. Somebody got a goal that they are trying to slay. I feel like somebody here is pretending to be like this, like they're so in love. Like they're so this and that. But they got a goal in mind that they're trying to slay. Look at this basic person. Like, she's just, you know, plain and simple, you know, unoriginal, unexciting. She's like the homebody, you know. But then you got this on fleek. And somebody over here is wanting to follow the crowd. Like, I want to do some fun stuff, too. I want to get dressed up and go out, too. I want to do this and that. This person could be trying to keep you from doing that. So they can accomplish. They got some type of goal in mind. Somebody has some type of goal in mind. What is this goal? Tell me more about slay and goals. Somebody is going through a struggle. Somebody is struggling as an adult. I don't think it's you. I think it's the person that you're dealing with. We got struggle is real and adulting. This person hates responsibilities. They don't like being held accountable for anything. They 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 look for a partner uh, for someone to settle down with to help them build them. Okay. This person... We got disappointment, stupid moves, shaking my head. I feel like somebody here is going to realize that, hey, this is not a good move. Like, this wasn't a good... Didn't I tell you this person want to stay in the house and Netflix and chill all the time? This is what they want, want to do. They don't ever want to go nowhere, do nothing. And whoever this person is that is not noticing this or just now noticing this they feel like this is a blessing like yeah we're in the house together we're this we're that they're feeling lucky i mean really this person is an asshole this person is an asshole they do this stuff to everybody that they deal with they're being influenced by um by an older person could be a mother a father a aunt a uncle a cousin somebody that's older we got influencer they're being influenced they're, somebody's behavior is being influenced by someone older and whoever this older person is they're telling them go get them ruthless get what you want go get what you want you go be a badass and they're not sorry about it either. We got sorry, not sorry. They're not sorry about it. They come to finesse, okay? They came to finesse, for sure. They came to finesse. And this is what's the shady behavior that's going on. You gotta watch this person. You gotta watch this person. Yeah, look at this. I didn't even get the damn shuffle the cards that good. Knight of Cups. This person is, I'm telling you, their offer is a dirty ass offer. They're, I'm telling you, like, 
their cup is full of shit, okay? Page of Pentacles. They could be trying to get you to offer them some type of pentacle, some type of money. Maybe they come to you and ask. I'm getting asking for things. It could start, it could have started out as small, like asking you for maybe $40 or can I get this? Or, you know, could you would you be able to help me with this, this, that? But best believe, best believe they're coming back and asking for more. Somebody has a generous heart here. And they, you need to be careful because I feel like there's a taker. Okay. When they get together with their friends, they talk about this all the time. Someone here could also even be uh, married with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant here. But they don't want to be there. Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the situation that they possibly were previously in, they don't want to be there. Could be a Capricorn. We got the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely Capricorn energy. And the, the Six of Cups, okay? So they're coming to you, bringing you, uh, wanting you to fix all of their problems. And they want somebody to talk to and let their burdens down on, but... Be careful. Tell me more about Bay. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Didn't I just say that? Nine of Swords. This person is, uh, yeah, Five of Wands. This person is definitely like their energy. Their energy is very conflicted. Okay, and I feel like they feel like you can solve all of their problems. Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is this person's energy. Somebody's energy is really troublesome. Okay, they have a lot of worries. Um, they worry a lot. We got the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody who's working together, building, working towards something. I feel like they feel like you can solve all of their problems. Yep, didn't I tell you? Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles. They feel like you can solve their problems, okay? They feel like you can solve their problems. I feel like you've opened up a little too much to this person. For some of you, this is a brand new relationship. This is a brand new relationship. I'm telling you right here, this person does not want, this person is lazy. This person does not want to put in any work. They aren't going to do a damn thing. They want you to do it. Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. They don't want to do a damn thing. Look at this, Death and the Nine of Cups. They don't want to do a damn thing. You hear me? They don't want to do nothing. They want you to do the work. And this is going to be the way that the relationship is going to be happy. Everybody's smiling and this, this, that. Is if they get what they want. But you are dealing with... Look at this person. Look at this person's energy. All right, that's the message that I'm that I got for y'all. <laughs> Let me see what else I can squeeze out. Um, where's my? There we go. Let's get some advice from the angels. I feel like some of y'all may need some advice. What advice do you have for the collective? What advice?
Okay. I feel like within the next few weeks, something could possibly transpire. Okay. Tell me what's within the next few weeks. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. But yeah, something out of the blue could possibly happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like you spying on this person and you find out that this person could be an Aries, but this person, or this person could be older than you, this person is very flirty, uh, very in and out, I feel like this could leave you with regrets, okay, because I'm telling you, you're carrying the burden of this situation, you're carrying, a, you're carrying this relationship. Within the next few weeks, there could come out something about a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a third party, Three of Swords. Within the next few weeks, there's going to be something possibly come out about a third party. And then there's more money involved. There's a lot of money involved in this situation. Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of money involved in this situation. But I feel like this person is very, very arrogant. This person is a very, very uh, self-absorbed and they mess around and then they come to you when they need you for something, when they need you to take care of something, when they need you to handle something. So there's some type of disappointment that could possibly be popping up in in the next few weeks. Now, we got unlikely here as well. Tell me why unlikely is here. The Empress. And the Four of Wands. Okay. Someone's mother could be involved or there's a wife. Some of you could be finding out that you are part of a third party situation that involves a marriage. Um, or this could be someone's mother. Or you could find out that that your person is possibly uh, staying with someone else or has been in someone else's house. so many cars are jumping over okay not the right time look at that the nine of wands keep your guard up if this is you in this situation you got to keep your guard up because this just this situation is just this person cannot be trusted okay they cannot be trusted and we got a year from now so something about not being the right time uh and i feel like with the knight of wands here this person is going to be in and out if you allow this person to come in and out, they will keep coming back. They will keep popping back up. Things are going to continue to pop up. Like, this person is an asshole, I'm telling you. Take action. Five of Pentacles. Listen. A Spirit is saying ghost this person. This person don't deserve you, okay? I'm getting that there's some gossip and getting either coming in, but there's I'm getting a lot of gossip. Page of Swords and Three of Cups is my gossip energy. He say, she say energy. And then we got helpful people. Two of Swords. So maybe you feel as if yeah, we got the Queen of Cups and the Devil. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, 
and a Capricorn involved. I feel like there's somebody is stressed out because they feel like they have to compete. Okay, there could be with the two of swords, definitely somebody has a choice. Somebody has a decision to make. And somebody is also juggling. And like I said, somebody is just over like this situation is so you're in your head so much about the situation because you feel like you have to compete for this person. But I'm telling you now, this person ain't worth it. They ain't worth a damn. There ain't no damn prize. No prize to be won. If a person does not value you, you leave. And so they can understand your value. I don't know what they thought this was. Okay, so tell me more. Give me more information. Yeah, somebody has children. Um, children could be involved in this situation. There's definitely trust issues here. But I feel like some some of you are going to decide to heal the situation because children are involved. But spirit is, I feel like it, there's a way or something that needs to be done in a way to where you can free yourself up. Um, we got to free yourself. And we also have attraction. So there's a magnetic attraction. You two could be extremely attracted to each other, physically attracted to each other. Um... And I do get a sense of wanting to heal the situation, like forgive. Yeah, Six of Swords, like some of y'all are too forgiving. And then we got Retreat. Somebody is on a separation period. Like I do feel like somebody could be married, but possibly they're separated. And then we got Calling Your Soulmate. Some of y'all are being called to call in someone new. Because the situation here, it's just not, it's just to where, like, if you have to compete, what's the point? If the spirit is saying, look, you deserve way better than this. You need somebody that you can trust. A real true love, okay? Somebody that's going to be worth the wait. Somebody who's not going to use and abuse you for your finances or what you have to offer. Um, that's the only thing that they're after, Okay, this person is going to come back in. If this person has walked away, this person is going to come back in, um, asking for another chance. But don't be surprised if this person is still being deceptive and still out flirting with everybody and they're still wanting to come back and heal this connection. They want to heal this connection because it's beneficial to them. Okay. All right, so that's the message that I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, if you guys are interested in booking a um, yes or no pendulum reading, let me know. Reach out to me via email. We'll get you set up. As well, guys, don't forget to get your energy clearing spray, honey. 20% off on your entire order. All that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right, until next time, y'all. Ciao for now.